In education today, there's so much energy invested in helping our students acquire knowledge and acquire skills to succeed in life. But how much time is invested in giving our students the opportunity to engage with the abstract, the unknown, and the unscripted? Innovation is not achieved by knowledge and skill alone. It's through having belief in yourself, belief in others, and a belief in something bigger than us. We need to give our students the courage to believe that they can create incredible things in the world. See, here's the thing. I'm not blaming anybody. Our system was designed for an industrial model of mass production and standardization. And there was a time when it worked. There was a time when it met those needs. But I worry about my kids and their love of learning if we don't change our system to meet the needs of our modern post-industrial world. If we don't focus more on personalized, flexible learning experiences to prepare learners for our modern world. And the Gallup poll highlights that this is a real concern for all of us. As students move through school, they have less opportunity to build on their own unique strengths and interests, and they become more disengaged. So I think it's important to highlight that if students aren't motivated to solve meaningful, authentic, challenging problems, it's not just our students that miss out. It's all of us. So one of my favorite things about your books is that your characters use their brains instead of their fists, right? They're always sciencing their way out of problems. Or into. Or into problems, yeah, yeah. blowing themselves up. Um, so I love in the book Artemis how Jazz's father, she'll ask a question and he'll say, work it out. And she's yeah. so frustrated. Yep. So, so why is that a theme that continues through your book, solving problems and working things out? I just, I, I really enjoy that kind of story. It's, you know, you should write a book that you yourself would like to read. And I like books that have problem solving. And what I love the most is when I, as the reader, am not able to figure out how to solve the problem. And then when the characters solve the problem, um, they, uh, I'm like, yes, OK, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, they're very subtly uh, on that screen there. Yeah, you know, I, you I see that. that you see too. that, yeah. It says, <laughs> please wrap. <laughs> 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 I'm not really good at rapping. Okay, but... well, um, I'll <laughs> so... beatbox you. <laughs> <laughs> See in here, later, today. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I think that, you know, failure is something that we all should be able to engage in, regardless of our abilities. You know, we want to be able to be there. And I love how he broke up each of the letters um, in his talk, Michael Cohen. But again, like, do we have that opportunity to even be in that space? You know, it's not about just having that 20 minutes or that after school program or, you know, that one class, but how about making it 100% of the time where students can be creative. So that, that's the, that stuck with me. I think uh, my greatest challenge is to just let them be. The kids are way more creative than I could ever encourage them to be. I just have to make sure that I'm not stopping their creativity.